Hi, so uh, I'm now in uh, I think I think a place called to Totland, and I'm going to do the Head and Warren walk. So the the postcode from the National Trust sort of sent me to the wrong place, I think. So it sent yeah it sent me to the wrong not the wrong place but not very near where the walk is. So. I've managed to find somewhere to park in Totland because there was nowhere to park where the postcode sent me to and now I've got a walk I don't know how far maybe about a kilometer each way to get to the walk and then it's gonna be about a five odd K walk and then obviously I've got to walk another kilometer back again so hopefully it's gonna be be all right <laughs> Um, so, but uh, where I'm walking to now is apparently heading to Totland Bay. Oh, I'm right near the sea now, so hopefully it's not too much further to walk anyway. So uh, I'll see you in a minute with an update. So no big dramas there, it was literally right next to where I was when I last spoke to you. So I'm right there by the sea now, wasn't as far as I thought it was false alarm but uh so yeah just going for a nice walk down here and it's right by the sea very pleasant bit of breeze bit more breezy around here so it's just to uh, have a look over here oh look at that cool there's a nice beach down there as well i might come down here for a cool off after i've done the walk so straight down the bottom there, you've got the Bay Cafe, Totland Pier. And this way, which is where the walk is going. Cool, it looks beautiful down there. Does look beautiful. The water looks so inviting there. I can't wait to get back down here later and have a swim. God, there's a steep climb coming out of Totland Bay. Whew. Yeah, nearly at the top. I think nearly at the top. So, see where it goes now. Very nice these two, as always. So the path goes down here. And it's a bit overgrown. Path closed. Coastal diversion, 200 meters. Oh, so I don't go down there. Oh, I go this way. So there it is, the diversion off up there. I've had a lot of these diversions on the Isle of Wight, I've noticed. There's been a lot of closed paths and diversions. Um, that's something I feared before I come out here. But it hasn't been too bad. But uh, anyway, let's get on with this walk. Less of the moaning. That's what I'm talking about right there. Head and Warren. Here we are. So this is uh, like in the Head and Warren, but there's like these little paths there and they look quite overgrown to me. One of them was just overgrown, I went for it. But it's like, you see, it's quite overgrown when you walk through here. Very nice, very beautiful though. Very beautiful little place. So, but it does, like I say, it's got these prickly bushes and it's a bit overgrown. And I'm only wearing a vest with no, uh, no sleeves and no legs. So, I'll see you in a minute, hopefully unscathed. 
don't listen to me, I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, basically, I was going on the wrong path anyway, so I was walking down an overgrown path that I shouldn't have been walking down. Classic story, my fault. Onwards, apparently this is the right way. Beautiful view here, from up the top of, well not quite the top yet, but from Head and Warren. Oh. Oh. So some great views up the top of the Heathland of Hedemore. I keep saying that, don't I? Hedemore, Hedemore. Yeah, it's very nice. Coastal views. So. Yeah, it's just amazing up here. No wonder it's a national trust. So, this is on the coastal path now as well. So, uh, yeah. But I, you know, it has been puzzling me that I keep I've, when I've done the round the island cycle ride. Uh, all I kept seeing was signs for the coastal path but it was on the road all the time and I couldn't work out for the reason why I kept seeing the coastal path signs on the road I'm not quite sure about that well oh you got the views of the needle there that's what I wanted I was sure it had the views of the needles Well, here we are. Oh, there's a path that goes down there. So look at that view. Look at that path that goes down there. God, this is why I come here. Bloody amazing. The path's a bit gnarly going down, but there's, I think there's a little old fortification just up there hopefully it'll be a good point where I can get a decent photo just as I thought there's an old fort here so oh Check that out. Oh. Amazing. Hi, so uh, my Head and Warren walk uh, vlog come to a bit of an end because uh, my, my SD card got filled up and I didn't have my spare SD card on me. So one of them things. But um, I mean, it wasn't much after my last video I posted anyway. I just walked down as quick as I could and went and had a swim in the sea uh, down at um, Tottenham Bay so and that was really lovely it's like literally like being on the riviera there so um it was a really good walk really beautiful and uh i would love to come to the isle of wight again sometime maybe so you know i can't can't recommend it enough i mean been lucky with the weather but uh i mean the wet, weather's normally pretty decent in the summer normally so yeah i really recommend it and it was a good walk i'll see you later